Hey guys, Shade here, and welcome to the third video of my World Offenders series, and it's the first of my beginner's guide. For some, it will be the most important. Please like and subscribe if you haven't, as it helps me out a lot. First, this is just the intro video. We'll look at the major sources of power and make sure you are efficiently on your way to master them. But before we can wield said overwhelming godly might, let's make sure you know where you are and what resources are available to you. Alright, let's get into it. When you log in, you'll see the daily reward. If you log in for 30 days and make sure to click on the reward itself, you will receive the Golden Dragon. This is important as it is an S plus meta tier tower and is free if you can remember to do this. I had to buy mine on the market. Next, we'll go over the interface. Your profile shows your statistics, your basic loadout, and access to your champions and pets, if you have any. Rankings allow you to collect rewards as you level up, the most important one is getting that fifth tower slot as you hit level 25. Challenges allow you to collect small rewards for doing certain objectives and should be collected, but do not give enough to get upset about if you forget. Play we will go over later. Shop lets you go shop for various things, all of which at the moment can be found cheaper in the marketplace. Inventory is perhaps the most important as it allows you to equip your towers and weapons and use potions you've collected. If this is your first time logging in, make sure to check your inventory to find the two starter towers and equip them. At the bottom here, you can enter game codes. Adjusting the game settings, I recommend turning these low or off to save battery life and cut down on lag, unless you play on computer and or enjoy bleeding eyes and possibly leaderboard bugs. The calendar lets you see update info and collect dailies if you've missed it initially or want to see how many days remaining until G-Drag. Currency conversion shows the last or current events currency and lets you exchange it. The red package lets you claim playtime bucks which can be used in the playtime store. Lastly, we have the pets area which can be clicked on to quickly access different pet slots. Allows you to upgrade and combine them and quickly access your eggs. See my pet video for more. Next, you'll want to take note if there are any events coming up. Currently, we are waiting on the summer event. These are very important as they offer the best, well, everything. Large ones, like this one, offer a season pass and a tower chest containing champions, weapons, and towers that are usually the best in the game. You want to start saving gold and gems in advance. While you're looking at this, you'll notice a forge to your right. This is where you go to destroy towers and get a random chance at very underwhelming prizes. To the left is the brand new marketplace. You can find incredibly good and bad deals here. I would check the official Discord to find the most updated tower tier list so you know what to look for. A short list of the cheapest S plus meta towers just popped up below with the price, location, and function. It may take logging out and back into a new server a few times to find new stands. With a bit of luck, you might just discover what you're looking for. This is life until they integrate the search option. Across the way, we have the leaderboard reward for reaching top 10 for a certain map. Solo, duo, and trio each have their own leaderboard per map. It's awarded at the end of the month, and we don't know exactly what it will do. Straight ahead are the pretty self-explanatory leaderboards that are not actually all that important in any tangible sense. To the right are the chests for the four-story worlds if you don't feel like running around to find them, and a chest you can use gold coins on, but I don't recommend it. These days, if you're looking for a specific tower, go to the marketplace and ignore these altogether. To the right side of this, you can see what towers people just sold and current prices. If we go out to the main area, straight ahead is the arena. You can use silver and gold arena coins you have received from completing maps to roll the dice and receive a random buff to your chosen tower. See my arena guide for more. If you are efficient or lazy like me, you can hit the play button and see that on the outskirts of this area, you will find five story worlds marked as such and a difficulty description as well. We have dinos, orc, Egyptian, mythology, and anime. 
Here it shows how many you've completed out of the total. If you click on them, it takes you there. If you enter a portal, it takes you to the map selection screen. You can choose a map or click the infinite button to play unlimited waves of a certain map. Here you can see the records previous attempts have achieved, which you would have to surpass to get on the board. If an attempt is good enough, you get the specific reward tower we saw in the lobby. There will be a video for how to beat maps and tower selection later in the series. Gems seem to be the most common currency used to buy towers in the marketplace. If you're looking for ways to get more gems, see my 2 times gem guide. Thanks for watching guys, and then we'll see you in the next one.